Hi, uh, this is Ruben from Stellar Lighting Systems. As m a lot of you already know, I made a new Diva. Uh, so I wanted to show you what you will get in the box, how to set it up, and what are the advantages to the new Diva. In making the new Diva, we tried to imitate the iPhone colors. Uh, as you can see, this is a silver one. Over here is a, a pink one. Uh, gold rose. In the box you get the light, you get the professional makeup mirror, 5x and normal. You get the stand, power cord, smartphone bracket and a fuse. The fuse you don't worry about unless your light goes out. Uh, you can take a selfie with this. Um, it's a Bluetooth shutter. It's just the nicety that we add. We don't guarantee this, but we just add it to the boxes just to, just as like a good gesture. So I want to start with the light itself. Put the power cord in all the way. Turn the light on. This is the on and off switch. And you can test out the dimmers. One, there's two dimmers. You can, you can see the effect right on my forearm. Uh, it controls the amount of the light. And the other, the other one here controls the color of the light. The new Diva is LED. So it's brighter. It's low voltage, but it has more light the softener you can see is so big it makes the makes all your photographs all your videos so soft so beautiful uh, really it's just a much better softening effect and much more of a beautifying effect than the old, old diva and because it could do a color change you could adjust the color to your skin color the 5600k the candlelight color uh, as it adds red into the skin, the red works against the green. So if you have a green pigmentation in your skin, you, you could turn that, turn that a little bit more orangey and that works against the green. That's the technical way that it's done. Having the, the ability to change the color from, this is 3200K to 5600 white, really is a very significant capability that we added. One thing that always gets people in trouble is the stand. You can open up here at the bottom. It folds over itself, it's a little bit weird. So it, it's open like this. What you wanna do is make sure that the bottom here is four inches off the ground it's close to the ground and tighten here very tight. You open this here, this whole way can be, has to be clear. Open this and you plop the light right on. That's all you have to do. Just plop it on and this, this over here, you tighten it back up as much as you can. And there, your light is set up, this handle if you, when you open it, it allows you to tilt the light. It's important. This handle also gets, it's, it's a little bit difficult to use. You pull it out. This is one action, like that. And opens just like a lever. Open this way, close this way. Works really well and it's very, very strong. Set the mirror right in the middle. You put it in and you tie it in there. And you tighten it, it's there. Yahoo! The dimmer is very, very good, really. It's like zero to 100. The old Diva, you could only dim it halfway or two stops we call it. Uh, this one is 0 to 100. At its highest 
it puts out more lumens, it has, puts out more lights than the old Diva. The last thing is how to put the phone mount in there. This comes in your toolbox. At the bottom here, there's a screw. That screw comes out and you take the phone bracket, you put, you put the screw at the bottom of the phone bracket, one, two, three turns, and you tighten at the bottom here, very tight, as tight as you can. So you, your piece looks like this now. And now you can put the phone bracket right inside the ring. You can put your phone right here and start shooting. This is a professional photo uh, uh, photographic light. It fits on a, a photo stand or a light stand. All this equipment is photo equipment. There's a certain standard. It all jives together. It all fits together. All the screws are a quarter 20. Uh, so they all really work well together and they're designed to work well together. Just if you're a little bit patient, you try to be a little bit inventive, you could get these, uh, this equipment to really work for you really well and get a lot of nice videos out of it. Just remember, every time you buy a photographic light, the biggest tip that I can give any and all my customers is that when you buy a photographic light, let the light work for you. Don't turn on other lights. All, if you have a studio, let that studio be dark. Let that space be dark. Let the light be the only light in the room. This light has to win. You paid for it, you let this do, do its job. This is 99% of the customer service calls that I get uh, and people who complain that the light is not working for them is because they're using it next to a window or they're turning on other lights. Um, cameras and phones have light sensors inside. Um, if there's multiple sources of light, uh, they get very easily confused. They don't give you a good exposure. All of, that's why all studios are dark. You need a dark environment and you need to control the lighting. And this new light is really superior in each and every way. <laughs> it's absolutely cool, does not heat up. It's low voltage. Uh, it, it will not lead you to, into any accidents. Uh, it should last 100,000 hours. Because it's LED, it doesn't really burn out. It doesn't really have a lifespan. It goes on forever. If you don't mistreat the light, if you don't drop it, make sure all the bolts and everything is all tightened up. This really should last a lifetime. Over the holiday season, we, we had special coupon codes and we had uh, Coach Glitter's help sold over a thousand of them. So a lot of people have the new Diva now. By the time you see this message, there's gonna be a lot of good reviews on the web. Thank you very much for paying attention. Keep looking.